my name is Dr Shay Cullen. I'm the senior clinician here at the Adult Congenital Heart Unit at the base of the Heart Hospital here in London. I'm Daniel and I also work in the Adolescent Clinic at Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital. And the group that we look after all have congenital heart disease. They all have structural heart disease. It's a lot smaller than it was. Okay, and that's good news. Okay. Uh, the patients we see okay. here, they come for a one-stop shop. So they come, they have a clinical examination, they have investigations done on-site. And the commonest imaging mode that we use is cross-sectional echocardiography. So you really, you've done so well, I have to say. The laptop-sized portable echo machine is just indispensable for our use in actual fact. We can get it into the tiniest of spaces, such as intensive care, into the operating theatres, and here into the clinic itself. That's great, thanks Jesse. Let's put some colour on that module. And it just gives us excellent quality imaging, information on how the heart is functioning and working. And based on those images and the interpretation of them, we can make recommendations about long-term management for these patients. Uh, my name's John Deverti. I'm a general practitioner here in Farnborough, but I have a specialist interest in cardiology. Significant shortness of breath uh, with an aortic murmur. Look at it. The majority of people with heart failure, uh, we can treat effectively with drugs that we as GPs use on a daily basis. Nice. Do you have any breathing problems at night no, at all? not at all. Well, the problem is actually diagnosing the disease. What we need is something which can give us the diagnosis and tell us why that patient has heart failure. And the gold standard is the echo machine. What I can do is essentially run a one-stop shop. I can just take it to either the patient's house or to the nursing home that we look after. Uh, I can scan them. All I need is the patient, a table and a plug point. There is a huge demand and a limited supply. And what we need are more echocardiographers like myself, more GPs with a special interest in cardiology. Hi, Mr. Green. The problem is financing the training of these people and the purchase of the equipment. OK, breathe in. I approached the British Heart Foundation, and without them, I would not have been able to make a difference to hundreds of patients who have come through that door into my surgery here. My name is Verity Kerno. I'm a cardiac physiologist specialising in echocardiography. My echocardiogram machine fits into a backpack, which fits into the boot of my car. This service is portable and easily portable. Certain parts of Cornwall are very remote. The community echo service is fantastic in rural areas. It offers patients the opportunity to be seen locally to them. So most patients only have to travel a maximum of 20 minutes for an appointment rather than an hour and a half. So this is gonna be a little bit cold. There definitely need to be more echocardiographers in the community. It takes pressure off big tertiary hospitals um, and gives patients more local care. So I just take some measurements. When a patient doesn't have their own car and cannot drive, it's important that they can be seen locally to them in their own cottage hospital where they feel comfortable and relaxed. My name's Dr Sam Freegard and I'm a general practitioner based at the Stanac Surgery in St Ives. Such is the portability of our echo equipment. Not only can we put it in the back of our car and travel around Cornwall, booked in on the last helicopter flight, I think. I can even take it, carry it over to the Isles of Scilly on the helicopter, and that has enormous benefits of saving uh, patients from uh, being transported over to the mainland from Scilly. 
On average, the time between a GP referring the patient and to actually having the echo done is now running at about 17 days, considerably shorter than the previous system uh, prior to the launch of our service. All our echo images are digitally stored and therefore they're always available for review by consultant cardiologists on request. The echo reports uh, are entered onto the hospital database so they are also available for review when required. My name is Kelly Nugent, I'm a BHF trainee paediatric echocardiographer and I work at the Evelina Children's Hospital in London. It's a British Heart Foundation funded post aiding cardiac physiologists. Yeah. So it's a chance to be trained in a, a big teaching hospital where they specialise in paediatrics and especially those with congenital heart disease. Um, so specialising in an area that um, you can't get the training for anywhere else. It's a very exciting time at the moment working in this field. Uh, there's so many new techniques coming out. Good boy! Using the portable machine is, is brilliant for bedside scans, especially in intensive care situations, not just for the children, for the parents as well. It's less daunting when you see a much smaller machine come up to the bedside to do a scan. Um, so it's, it's a lot quicker, saves time. I feel very privileged to be a BHF trainee to get the specialised training in this field. Very exciting, very exciting, yes. Enjoy it very much.